To say that Oshinoko's arrival took the anime community by storm would be a massive understatement. From the amazing animation, the gripping and heartful story, and the themes behind said story is what really has made Oshinoko the anime of the season and possibly of the year. And while I could spend countless of hours talking about how Oshinoko pokes at the flaws of the entertainment industry, I will instead talk about an aspect of the series that for whatever reason has kind of been a point of contention with people and that is the revenge aspect of the series, more specifically in regards to Aqua Hoshino. With the recent manga chapters, it really isn't difficult to find people who dog pile on Aqua's character and just simply reduce him to a quote unquote edgelord. To get into the why, we need to touch upon how the series began. The series began Began with him as a doctor and one of his patients being so motivated by Ai Hoshino to the point where even after passing away, the doctor ended up becoming a fanatic of her in the process. And after Ai herself becomes his patient, we see his mindset and perspective of how he views her as an idol change as they pretty much bond together. And this gets multiplied tenfold when he reincarnates as Ai's own son. And this is a part of the puzzle that people seem to somewhat have forgotten about and that is after he reincarnates even though he has his past lives memories and things of that nature his personality in pretty much how he carried himself in his previous life pretty much gets overwritten with the life that he has now i mean his idol who he admired as far as an entertainer goes literally became his new mom and this is something that i see that whatever this discussion is had people really don't take this into consideration so when i gets murdered literally his reason for reincarnating in the first place gets yeeted out of the window in his eyes so when he figures that his new father may have possibly played a part into eyes murder he pretty much makes him a target of his revenge as a way of almost like coping because once you take that away from him he basically has nothing left and while you can say that that is the wrong way of looking at things in aqua's perspective that's pretty much it he doesn't know that ruby is his patient that he deeply cared for he doesn't know that so it's like in his mind he doesn't have anything else for him that's why the revenge aspect of things gives him a purpose so he can go on living and this very idea gets showcased with how committed this man actually is this dude spends so long committed to this revenge thing that even as he's spending time with people that you would think that would distract him from this whole revenge thing he stays committed throughout it just like so to be surprised at how much he pretty much plays these manipulating games how quote-unquote cringe the dialogue might be which i would concede to the point that yeah bro be going a bit too far not gonna lie but it's like his point of his character is like he is so far down into the spiral of revenge that it's like he is willing to push away the people he cares about. That's pretty much the point of his character, especially later on in these newer chapters. It's like that's the point. Like, bro, it's not just edgy for the sake of being edgy. There is a point to it. Which is why whenever I see these takes surrounding Aqua's character, I'm just sitting here wondering if we read the same manga. But that's just my opinion at the end of the day. So tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section. As I am very curious on you guys' thoughts surrounding Aqua's character. How do you see him? Do you think that he's edgy? You think that he's going to be the quote unquote next like Jagami? I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you are. And see you guys next time.